Okay, uh, we're gonna finish off the elderflower cordial now. Mmm, it smells beautiful. Uh, I picked this elderflower this morning. Um, basically, we're just gonna put it together now. So, um, I've got three liters of water boiling in the sauce panier, and I've put two kilos of sugar into it. So the sugar, that's the finished off sugar. Uh, and basically what, what we do right here is dissolve the sugar into the boiling water. Okay, well, while that's going to keep stirring, um, I um, got uh, three lemons, I zested three lemons up, unwaxed lemons. Uh, doesn't have to be fine zest, can be chunky. In this particular cordial, I want to try uh, putting some orange into it. Apparently you can put some lime into it as well, but today I'm just going to do the lemon and orange into the uh, cordial. So basically all the things, it's just um, lemon peel, orange peel, zest, uh, the, uh, elderflower, sugar and boiling water. And I've got some citric acid here. Okay, so that's gone now, it's gone onto the boil. I'll just turn that down a touch, dissolve and dissolve. I will put uh, the three lemons into the boiling water. I will also put the orange peel into the boiling water. And uh, what I'd like to do here at this point, just let that set up. I'll put a couple of slices of the lemon in as well. And same with the orange. So, probably a nice flavour in there. Okay, so while that goes into the boiling water, I've turned it off the boil now. The other flour I picked earlier, I'll put that in. I can't really remember how many heads that I did pick. Um, I'm sure it's about 35, something around there. So I've doubled up a bit. It might, it's probably, could even be 40. So, into the saucepan here. All the elderflower. They've all been picked off the stalks. There's no stalks in there now. Just give that a little stir. And, so that's, in here you've got boiling water, sugar, dissolved in the boiling water, lemon zest, orange zest, and you're going to put, and the elderflower, you're going to put some lemons in there, and some oranges. Okay, so just give that a little stir in. And now, what we'll do we'll, at this point, be careful with this citric acid, don't let it become in contact with your eyes or the skin, because it's quite uh, nasty. Okay. So apparently, uh, one rounded teaspoon is equivalent to uh, the juice of one lemon. So I'm going to put. I think that should be enough for this particular one. Three spoonfuls into there. Three, four, four teaspoons. Good. There we go. I'll just give that a little skirt. That's good. Okay, so that's it really. <laughs> that is it. Um, just leave that cool now. I'm going to cover it with a cloth and leave it cool. And um, I'm going to leave it steep now for 24 hours, 48 hours tops. And then I'm going to put it into some uh, sealed bottles. And you, you can use it anytime then uh, for up to six to seven weeks. Um, what can I say about elderflower? It's a really, really nice, tasty, refreshing drink, especially over ice in the summer. Uh, you can also um, put it into ice scoop trays and have uh, elderflower cordial ice scoops and just put some them in a glass and add some water. So um, we'll do a taste test and uh, we'll just see how that goes, really. Um, That's it. Yeah, that's it. There's no more to say. It's done as simple as that. Thank you.